Hey YouTube, it's ICU. Today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 7.0.4 on the iPhone 4 using something called RageBreak. Now this isn't quite a jailbreak utility, it's based on WinOCM's Open Snow project which utilizes GeoHot's old 2010 LimeRain exploit and as I'm sure some of you are aware, it utilizes a hardware vulnerability which cannot be patched by Apple unless they release new devices which obviously they've done since the release of the iPhone 4 which is why it still supports the iPhone 4 and it would support other devices as well. However, Apple has phased out those A4 based devices with the release of newer firmwares, especially iOS 7. The last one to remain is the iPhone 4. So that's why RageBreak only functions on the iPhone 4 because of the 2010 LimeRain exploit it incorporates. It's nothing new. You can kind of think of it as red snow in a sense for what it utilizes as far as vulnerabilities are concerned. Now, like I said before, this is a tethered jailbreak, so that means you're going to have to plug your device into your computer via your USB cable and run a part of RageBreak every single time you need to reboot your device. Unfortunately, because of the nature of the jailbreak, that's just how it's going to have to be. Now, to start off, I'm going to show you guys inside of settings that I am indeed on iOS 7.0.4 by going down to General, About, as you can see for the version down below at the bottom, it does indeed say 7.0.4. Also, one last bit of information that's crucial to mention before I begin with this tutorial. This does incorporate Cydia for a graphical user interface that will take advantage of the root access enabled on your device. Now, this is based on Sarix iOS 6 Cydia. It's been updated. It doesn't quite work 100%. There are a few minor glitches here and there, so keep that in mind. Also, a lot of the packages won't work because they themselves have not been updated to iOS 7. It's nothing related to the jailbreak. Again, it's because the developers of the packages have yet to update them. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. What you're going to need to do is download RageBreak for OS X. I will have a link down below in the more info to an article that contains download links as well as complete written instructions if anything in this tutorial confuses you. All right, and what you're also going to need to download is the Java development kit for OS X. Now, in order to do so, all you have to do is go to Google and type JDK into search. Once you do so, you should receive results similar to these and you can just click on the link that says Java SE Development Kit 7. Once you do that, you'll be redirected to a page where you simply have to accept the license agreement and then click to download for Mac OS X. So off to the right of it here, you just click to download the DMG file. And once you do so, you'll receive something very similar to this. I just opened it. And once it mounts, you will see that I can install the Java Development Kit 7 update right here. Just simply click on it and go through the basic install process. Again, this is needed to run OpenSnow, which is a part of RageBrick. So you would just simply go through this standard update process over here in this window. I'm going to close out of it because I've already done it. All right, now before we can open RageBreak, what we're going to have to do is ensure that we have the ability to open applications from unknown sources. So inside of System Preferences, you're going to go to Security and Privacy up at the top. And then from here, you're going to go to the General tab and you're going to click to make changes and unlock it so you can actually make those changes. And once you've done so, you're going to click allow apps downloaded from anywhere. Once you've done this, then you will be able to open RageBreak. Now we can continue with this tutorial and I'm going to just click open when I get that message there and it does open a terminal window and it's just going to go through this basic setup process and once we do that we will be at the main terminal window for RageBreak. I'm just going to zoom in really quick and I'll be right back. All right here we are. We have the main selection prompt here. We have a couple of different options. What we're going to do is just type one on our keyboard and then hit the return or enter key. Now essentially what this will do is set up all of the components you need by downloading OpenSnow, building it, and compiling everything. So I'm going to be back once this finishes. It's nothing really too important. You guys don't really need to see much of this. I may be back during certain parts of it to walk you guys through. Otherwise, I will see you when it finishes. And while I'm waiting, I figured I might as well show you guys what's actually going on. So over here on the far right, it tells you how fast you're actually downloading, it tells you how much time is left, how much time it's spent on the current task, and then from there it shows you how much you've downloaded over here on the left. Now that it's done downloading everything, it's just going to set it up and it's going to build all of the files that we need to actually run this jailbreak. Again, you don't need to have your device plugged in at this point and you 
you don't need to have it in DFU mode, but you will need to enter DFU mode soon. So I'm just going to let it do its thing and let it build everything, and I'll be right back. All right, now that it's finished, we're going to need to plug our iPhone into our computer. All right, so here we go. Just using the standard USB cable, I'm going to plug in and then enter DFU mode. You can do this by holding down the home and power buttons together for a total of 10 seconds. Once that 10 seconds is up, you're going to release the power button and continue holding the home button for another 10 seconds. And iTunes should automatically pop up saying that it's detected a device in recovery mode, even though it's going to be in DFU mode. And you'll know that because you have a black screen. So as you can see over here inside of iTunes, iTunes, we are getting that alert that we do have a device connected in recovery mode. We're good to go. I'm going to click OK to that and I'm just going to close out of iTunes. You don't need it open. And then inside of this terminal window over here, now that we're in DFU mode, again, I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard, going to tell me that it's going to open another tool. So I'm going to hit enter to that again and you'll need to hit enter a third time. And once it's done that, it will automatically open up the Java window. I'm going to pull it over here to the right so you guys can see what's happening and then it's going to just jailbreak the iPhone 4 over here. So I'm also going to leave this up on the screen so you guys can see what's happening. All right, and inside of the Java window, it's saying that it's actually exploiting the boot ROM right now. So it's about to use GeoHot's LimeRain exploit that I mentioned before to, again, jailbreak the iPhone 4. All right, and here we are. This is the screen that you want to be at once it finishes the process. I'm just going to wait though until it says it's done inside of the Java window. All right, here we go. It did finish. I just wanted to leave it up throughout that process and I'm actually going to be right back. My camera's about to die. I need to swap out an extra battery. So if the view changes a little bit, I apologize in advance. All right, now I'm going to come over to this Rage Break 2 window over here because it is done inside of Java. I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. And now it's just telling me that the password is Alpine, that's A-L-P-I-N-E, and I'm going to need that a lot. So I already know that, I can hit enter, and now it's asking me for the password. Again, remember it is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. And you're going to need to enter this numerous times just so it can upload all of the files to your device. So again, I'm going to enter Alpine, and we're going to continue entering it until we are finally done with this window. So again, nothing's really changed over here on the iPhone 4, it's just at that same loading screen, or the restore screen actually is what Rage Break calls it. Whatever you call it, it's fine, it's still at this screen and it's still good to go. We're just waiting on all of the files and now that it's done, we can press enter to close it. And we're almost done at this point. We're going to need to enter DFU mode again and reboot it. So over here inside of the main Rage Break window, we're going to select either two, three, or four based on which device you have. Now I know my device is just the standard GSM AT&T model. If you have a revised GSM version, it will be three. If you have Verizon, it will be four. So the CDMA model. And again, before I hit two to continue, I'm going to enter DFU mode on my iPhone here by holding down the home and power buttons together for a total of 10 seconds. Now, like I said before, once that 10 seconds is up, you can release the power button and continue holding the home button for another 10 seconds. 10 to 15 actually, depending on your device and your computer. So let's go ahead and wait for this. It should be in DFU mode now. I'm going to continue inside of terminal by typing two and pressing return. And now it will go through the process to actually boot the iPhone tethered. So it's just going through over here in the terminal window again. I'm going to leave it up on the screen so you guys can see what happens and approximately how long it should take.
And also, don't worry if you notice any errors inside of this terminal window. It's fine. It will continue and it will go through the process as long as you're following everything I'm detailing in this video. All right, here we go. We have the famous scrolling text screen. Once it passes through this, it will just boot right back up. And then from there, we can install Cydia. Keep in mind, though, that we won't be installing an official version of Cydia. We're going to be installing a modified version of Sarix iOS 6 Cydia. So things may be somewhat weird and it might not work 100%, but your iPhone 4 will definitely have Cydia. And now that it has finished rebooting, I'm just going to unlock it and I'm going to go inside of settings and then Wi-Fi and I'm going to figure out what my IP address is on my iPhone or what the IP address that my iPhone is currently using because that is important and we will need that. So again, just go inside of the settings application and then go to Wi-Fi and then once there, you're going to tap the little I to the right of your Wi-Fi name. And now as you can see for my Wi-Fi IP address, it says 10.0 point one point two seven now you're going to need that we are going to have to enter it to install Cydia so I'm just going to set the iPhone off to the side here inside of terminal I'm just going to press any key to return to the main screen for rage break and now what I'm going to do is type 5 to install Cydia and then return now like I said before we're going to enter the IP address that the iPhone is using so you can find that inside of the Wi-Fi portion of the settings application and again for me it is 10.0.1.27 I'm going to hit return and it may take a while once it does though you should be able to connect to your device via SSH all right now that it's asking us to authenticate the host we can simply type yes inside of terminal and hit return now it's asking us for the password again remember that's alpine a l p i n e we had to enter it enough before so you should remember it at this point and now it's just going to go through and install all of the pieces to Cydia so again password is a l p i n e and you're going to have to enter it every time it asks you it's also going to download all of the required packages and set up all of the repos or sources inside of Cydia nothing's really happening on our iPhone it's just connected to it wirelessly so of course you do have to be on the same wire Wi-Fi network with your device and with your computer. And again, remember the password is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E, and it will just connect wirelessly and send all the information it needs. So I'm going to set the iPhone down and I'll be back once it completes. All right, and also if you see any serious warnings, don't worry, that's fine. It will still work. I have tested this numerous times. It's just saying that because it cannot find the package or it can't find the repo. It's fine though, and everything will work properly, or at least as proper as it can work using Rage Break and Open Snow. All right, and here we are, it has successfully finished. The iPhone did shut off though, and we're going to need to reboot it in DFU mode for a second time. So once you see this screen, you can simply hold down the home and power buttons together on your device again for a total of 10 seconds. And like I said before, once that 10 seconds is up, you can release the power button and continue holding the home button for another 10 seconds. Once that time is passed, you can enter either two, three, or four inside of the rage break window, and then it should reboot your device into its tethered mode. So I did select which iPhone I had, and we're going to wait for it to reboot.
Again, I'm not really going to cut anything out of this portion just so you guys can see approximately how long it should take to fully reboot your device tethered. Again, remember that you're going to have to do that every single time you need to reboot your device because this is a tethered jailbreak. So what you're going to do is enter DFU mode, open rage break, type either two, three, or four, depending on which device you have, and then return. And once you do that, it should automatically reboot it into its tethered state. All right, and we're at the scrolling text screen. You should always see this every time you're booting it tethered. And once it finishes this, it will just reboot it and we should have Cydia. I'm going to leave this up on the screen though. So again, so you guys can see the entire process. All right, here we go. It shouldn't take much longer now. It will finish the reboot and then I will unlock it to show you guys Cydia for iOS 7. Again though, like I've been saying throughout this video, this is not the official Cydia designed by Saric. It's just based on Saric's iOS 6 Cydia. As you can see, I'm going to zoom in. I do have Cydia on my home screen. I'm going to open it up and then it's going to ask me who I am. I'm going to just select user and then from there it'll just refresh Cydia as it typically does. You will notice a slightly different interface though. Again that is because this is a modified version of Cydia. It's based off of iOS 7's look. It isn't the official Cydia but it should do for installing packages and providing a graphical user interface for doing so. So I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom here and Cydia does indeed verify that I am on iOS 7.0.4. As you can see at the bottom, it says iPhone 4 GSM iOS 7.0.4 Cydia 1.1.8 plus, because again, this is not the official version of Cydia. As I've been saying, it's based on Saric Cydia. So as you can see, we do have Cydia here. I'm going to just go down to the Manage tab once it finishes reloading the data, and then I'm going to show you some of the sources that I have. So. Let's go ahead and return to Cydia. Like I said, some things will be slightly weird throughout this, but it should still work. So going down to manage, I'm going to go to sources. I accidentally went to packages, but sources, and I'm going to show you guys that I do have the primary sources here. I have the big boss repo with all of its packages. And actually that was probably not a bad idea going to the packages that I currently have installed, just to show you guys that I do have things installed on this iPhone. Now this is only because of rage break. It does automatically include some of these packages. So here we go. This is Cydia running on a jailbroken iPhone 4. Keep in mind though, that again, this is not official and you may encounter errors when trying to jailbreak or once you're actually jailbroken. And I really hope you guys like this video. Of course, just be sure to stay tuned for complete jailbreak coverage. I'll have more details in the future and I'll also have more tutorials once the evaders release their untethered jailbreak for all iOS devices. It is coming. It's only a matter of time at this point. I've also created numerous update videos and I will continue to do so until the evaders release their utility. So you can find everything jailbreak related on my channel and of course if you guys like this video and you want to enter the $100 Amazon gift card giveaway I currently have going on just be sure to rate it up subscribe and leave a relevant comment down below in the comments section once your comments have been posted you'll be automatically entered to win and if you guys want to be updated more often again when I release new jailbreak updates and jailbreak tutorials once the evaders push out their utility just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter and until next time this is ICU signing out